Hello, this is your captain speaking. We're back with more Kerbal Space Program, and in between the last episode and this one, I sent up another refueling craft to pick up the fuel from the transfuser and take it over to the, uh, the Duna mission, which I still have to name. That's what I'm going to do this episode. But before I do that, I have to bring the transfuser back down to the surface of Kerbin, and bef uh, I want to try and land it at the space station, which is something I've always had a lot of trouble doing, and I'm just fast-forwarding here so I can see the space station, which is on this Africa-shaped continent right here, on the little greener part that's slightly different color than everything else. So what I'm going to want to start doing here is, using the very little amount of electric charge this thing has left, I'm going to decouple this and try and angle myself so I'll be facing towards the retrograde vector which that is not it I'm facing the wrong way um, I made a stop by this craft uh, which has Bill and Jebediah Kermit on it during the refueling mission and gave it some mono propellant so it could bring myself down to the surface of Kerbin and this thing is I'm gonna try and glide this back and try and land on the runway at KSC hopefully that'll work out I have no control over this thing right now because I don't have any electric charge, so that's going to be problematic for this burn back. But I'll figure All right, it out. Alright, now that I've got myself in position, I have 145 mono propellant on this thing, and that should be enough to return me to the surface. I'm just going to start my burn here, my uh, retrograde burn, and try and bring my orbit down to where I'm going to be plunging down through the atmosphere so I can try and get to, I don't know, about 70 kilometers above before I get to the space center. Uh, my inclination is really good here. I'm gonna need some adjusting while I'm flying down through the atmosphere, but that's fine. I can deal with that. Uh, that should be good. It looks like I'm gonna overshoot a lot there. Actually, I'll break that a little more. All right. I don't want too much overshoot here, but there's gonna be a lot of speed uh, velocity burned off when I start going through the atmosphere. So. Let's start bringing myself down. I'm down to 40 mono propellant, but really, the rest of this mission is all going to be gliding, so I'm not that worried about that. I really have high hopes that I can land this thing. I might not be able to get on the runway, and that's fine. I don't need to get on the runway. As long as I safely land, it should be perfectly great. It has uh, wheels on the bottom, and they are the uh, heavy-duty... Um, KW wheels, or, yeah, I think they're KW. They're very reliable. I tested this craft a lot with landing, and it's always kind of worked out for me, so. It looks stubby on the back here, but that's because, um, the fuel tank was there before. That's fine. It doesn't le need to look nice, it just has to work. Gonna time excel here. Alright. Bring myself in. I'm now approaching the continent which the KSC sits on. And I might be coming in a little bit too high here, but I'm plunging into the atmosphere and I should burn off some speed here pretty soon. So I'm going to try and position myself to where I'm going to be um, burning off speed. So spread my wings really wide like a bird trying to slow down and. I don't want to. I don't want to get too much lift here because I'll bring myself up. Okay, we're starting to get some burning effects. I'm going to stow my landing gear until we get lower to the ground. I don't know why. Don't know why I opened that. Maybe for more drag, but oh well. There's the space center right there. Uh, my inclination is a tiny bit off, as you can see here, but that's nothing I can't fix by gliding down to it. I seem to be losing control here pretty quick, though. Oh yeah, I'm spinning out. It's something that can't be fixed once I come down more. Uh, I don't want to burn RCS just spinning around like this. <laughs> Ooh, this could be bad. Oh, yeah. Alright, cool. We're getting nice and close to the space center now. My air conditioning just popped on. Turn that off because it's loud. There we go. Hope that hope that doesn't sound too disastrous on the microphone for you guys. This is really spinning out like crazy, and I'm not even like time accelerating at all here. But I seem to be resting control back, at least a little bit. I'm coming in really steep. This thing doesn't have any chutes on it, which might have been a good investment. Because, uh... Oh, jeez. Oh, no. Alright. Cool. Yes, I, I leveled myself out here. 
Let's try and get some lift on this thing. I'm flying pretty stable now, but I'm hitting towards the ground alarmingly fast. Need to pull up a little bit more. Come on, need more lift. I'm gonna activate my thrusters and try and bring myself up using RCS a little bit more. I'm definitely not gonna hit the runway at this point. Come on. Need more lift. I'm gonna deactivate these engines here and just use the bottom one. See if I can just use that to get myself as little lift as I can. Ooh, come on. I'm out of mono propellant now. This is way too steep. Oh, geez. Yep. Nope, it's not gonna go well. Ooh. Oh! Oh my god. Alright. Well, they're, they didn't die, and that's certainly a good thing. Alright, cool, we got those guys back to the Kerbal Space Center. Awesome. Okay, so here we are uh, speaking into a cannon to a sound like Bane. Ah, Batman. Alright, so here we are back with our Duna mission, which is now called the Duna STS, but I'm going to change the name because that doesn't really work for this mission. I need something, something heroic and just amazing sounding. So I'm going to call this the ship the Virtuous Paladin. I'm not sure if that's spelled right. Hopefully it is. The Virtuous Paladin sounds pretty dang badass. Yeah. Um, it's mostly fueled up. I think the only places where there is a lack of fuel is over in these fuel tanks here. Actually, I need to move that so it won't be off center. Um, and really, I don't need that much fuel on that stage because I did a simulation test in a sandbox mode with this lander. And it had like an obnoxious amount of fuel when it came back up. So I could just move fuel around once I actually get to the planet. Um, this mission should be good to go, but I'm probably going to launch this in the next episode. Because right now we're having a money crisis and we still have to get our guys back from the moon. So I'm going to see what I can do to get some money because we only actually have like 11,000 credits right now. And that's not enough for a big, any kind of big launch right now. So looking at the map here, we can see there are debris everywhere, which I can probably pick up and get some money back from. So I'm going to recover the uh, Sparrow Exploration Jet debris. There's still more debris. It's probably just like legs and stuff. So we're just picking up as much as we can get. There's a lot of crap over there. Alright, so I was only able to collect about 6,000 credits worth of debris on carbon, which is pretty good. That probably allows me to do another lightweight launch. I'm going to see if there are any contracts I can do here. There's a test the LV-1R engine while orbiting Kerbin. I could probably send a small craft up to do that, and it will get me... How much? Um, 79,000 credits. That sounds pretty dang good. And also, I think it might be time for um, saving the moon, guys, if I can do that. I want to try and recover their craft while doing it, too. So I'm going to have to come up with a very ingenious plan here. Alright, so I am 58 signs away from being able to do the mission to uh, save the guys who were trapped in orbit around the moon. I'm not sure who it is. Uh, I think it's Gendo from the uh, Moon Roper that broke down. So um, I am going to launch an exploration jet to get some signs from the North Pole. Hopefully that should work out well. Right, so here we have the aptly named Nugget Exploration Jet, which I am sending to the North Pole to gather us some more science. We only need about 58 more science points to be able to unlock the Grabby Claw thing. Uh, that came in the, um, Astro- yeah, that's the official name, by the way. The Asteroid Redirect Mission? Um, it's not the official name. Don't listen to me, I'm lying. Uh, so, there is a lot of untapped science to be had at the North Pole. This is piloted by Jebediah Kerman. Hopefully this mission should go off without a hitch. Uh, I made this by mistake while just testing for, um just for ideas from this series, and it actually is probably one of the best flying planes I've ever made, and it looks pretty dang cool, if I must say. Uh, it lands really stably, too, so hopefully, me saying all this now isn't completely destroyed by me crashing the ground blowing up later. Okay, I'm gaining a bit of altitude here. I want to see how high I can test it before running out of air, one of my intakes. Ooh, a little bit high here, but I'm going 900 meters per second. Ah oh, man, I am totally gonna Icarus this shit over here. 
Oh, about to hit 1,000. Oh, I'm going a kilometer a second now, or roughly a kilometer a second. More than that. Oh, geez. Okay, I'm starting to lose intake here. I gotta pull myself down a bit. But damn, I'm going so fast over the surface now. Uh, 1,200. 1,200 meters per second. I gotta start slowing myself down because I'm about to lose air in one of my engines. One of them is gonna burn out and then the whole thing is gonna go spinning out of control. I gotta bring myself down. There we go. I'm now moving downwards. Holy crap. Alright, so now I'm flying over this very nice mountain range here. I'm going at very quick speed still. And then I realized that um, I did not stage this correctly, or not really stage it correctly. I didn't set this up correctly so where the fuel from this central tank right here feeds into these very small tanks. So the fuel is running super low. I think I'm going to have to bring myself in for a landing. Um, there are some nice kind of more plain areas over there that I'm going to bring myself down towards. So I'm going to have to lose quite a bit of speed here because I'm only halfway to the North Pole at this rate. But I, I want to be able to make sure I can get all the way there without running out of fuel. And uh, Landing with no fuel is kind of a hassle. Um, it can make it a little bit harder because it means you can't pull up as easily towards the ground. and You just have to rely on pure, pure skill and that's not entirely something I have in large commodities. So we here, see here I've got these very beautiful re-entry effects going on here that should be tearing the craft apart. I should really start a new campaign in which I use deadly re-entry because that would be really just badass. But I'm afraid of how bad that series would be because I just, I don't know the mechanics entirely behind re-entry so I might just end up crashing everything that I try to bring back down. Plus it allows me to do a lot more crazy things and I like doing crazy things in Global Sweeps program. So I'm coming down a bit here. Um, going at about 260 meters per second. I'm losing a lot of speed as I come towards the ground, which is good. This thing has a very wide wingspan, so it has a lot of lift, and I should be able to bring myself up fast enough before I hit the ground so I won't just kerplunk and fall and die all over this cliff. I've sent Jebediah Kerman underground like 70 feet, get, giving him his own little preemptive grave. Um, the terrain is probably deceptively rougher here than I'm expecting it to be, but I should be able to land on it regardless. I like the uh, kind of bluish look to the grass here. Uh, ah, man. You really forget the scale of those mountains, too, when you're flying that high over them. Because you're always spending most time, like, way above the surface of Kerbin, and then you see this, and it's like, oh, those are already higher than I am, and I'm 4,000 meters up. That's four, uh, that's four kilometers up. So that's pretty awesome. Okay, I'm going, uh, 100... All right, it looks pretty planar down there. Should be easy to land on. I'm going to start pulling myself up a little bit here. I'm down to 80 meters per second, which is a good, pretty slow speed to land at. I'm going to obviously want to get slower before I hit the ground. I'm starting to see my, see my shadow. See my shadow. I'm starting to see my shadow on the ground down there. So it means I'm getting nice and close to the surface. Sometimes it's very hard to judge, especially at nighttime. Um, all right, coming in close to the ground here. It looks a bit... A bit rolly hills, a little bit rolly down there, but I can probably manage landing on it. I'm worried about blasting up a wing though when I do come down. I should have made the base wider for my la uh, my landing gears, but I might be able to pull it off. All right, gonna flare up, try and burn off a little bit more speed here. 58 meters per second, 57, six. Okay. Just gotta keep flaring up. I'm just losing a bit of speed. I'm slowly bringing myself down. My shadow's indicating that we're pretty dang close now. I wish there was a true altitude. There's a mod that'll show like true altitude. Okay, there's the ground. Oop! And brake, brake, brakes on. Okay, cool. I got myself stopped successfully. Uh, I'm gonna see if there's any signs to be had here, and then I'm gonna redistribute the fuel, and we'll be taking off again. Alright, now we have Jebediah happily walking around outside. I managed to pick up some signs from the ground. Now I'm going to plant a little, uh, little flag into the ground here. Just, uh, damn it. No. Plant flag. Just to commemorate a happy little landing for the, uh, C7 Aerospace Division. Um, what am I going to write here? Kerbin. 
Midlands. Yay. Beautiful. They should have sent a poet, but they only got me. I'm going to send myself back to the ship here. I had to drop the, the uh, front landing gear so I could be able to climb back on it. Hoo -ah! Yeah. <laughs> Jeopardize got those mad jumping skills. All right, hop back into the plane. Gonna pick up a mystery goo report. Three signs, that's good. And a uh, crew report, 1.5 signs. I'm gonna transmit that. Ooh, I burned myself out of power here, that's not good. I didn't put any batteries on this thing. Let's see if I can still lower the gear. Still have gear control. Yeah, I still can generate power from my engines, that's fine. And I'm going to take off again. Hopefully this isn't going to crash and burn. But it might, so keep that in mind. I, mean, I guess I'll, just tra I'll start taking off with the antenna up like that. Thankfully the antenna won't tear off with aerodynamics, because I don't have any mods to allow it to do that. Oh! Oh, I don't want to burst! Ah! Uh, ah! Uh, fuck! Shit! Ah, uh, no! Oh, no! One air disaster after another. I'm down to one engine. I guess I'm gonna have to just recover this vessel. All right, so I was able to recover like 17 signs from the mission, which is good because now we're even closer to being able to rescue our guys from the moon. I'm going to do an off-camera mission to the North Pole, and you guys can join me in the next episode. Thank you so much for watching my videos. It does mean a hell of a lot to me. Um, this is your captain signing off. Bye. Please like, comment, and subscribe if you'd like to see more of this series. Bye.